Assalamu alaikum. My name is Alda Benjamin, and I am the Avi Malik Bid Yusuf Fellow in Assyrian History at the University of California, Berkeley. To address the challenges associated with writing about a minoritized community, it was essential for me to weave together conventional and unconventional uh, sources. Popular culture in the form of uh, music, art, and poetry is an important medium of cultural and intellectual production and often provides a perspective that's uh, absent or missing in uh, print and archival sources. With the flow of music and other art forms across borders, its influence extends beyond the zone of its creation. Hannibal Alhas's work um, conveys, particularly his paintings, um, the universal language of art that has global salience. Hannibal Alhas was born in 1930 to an Assyrian family in Iran. He moved to the U.S. in 1951 to pursue his education, studying philosophy before turning to fine arts, earning graduate degrees from the Art Institute of Chicago. Following the passing of his father, Adé Alhas, in 1959, a renowned author and poet, Hannibal returned to Iran to teach. There he established the Gilgamesh Gallery, a successful modern art gallery. He returned to the U.S. in 1963, where he taught fine arts, then to Iran once more, before finally settling in the U.S. in his later life. In addition to his paintings and sculptures, which have been exhibited internationally, Hannibal also wrote and translated poetry. He passed away in California in 2010. Hannibal described himself as a foreigner in his various contexts, in Iran as a Christian and in the U.S. as an immigrant. But he transcended the barriers of his minoritization in his own words by immersing himself in the river of art with its universal language. Art was a medium he used to emerge from the periphery, yet his experiences as an Assyrian and that of his community allowed him to understand and convey the struggles experienced by other marginalized communities through his critical artistic lens. Hannibal is an internationally renowned artist, and while his Assyrian heritage is generally recognized, his important contribution to his community's history and experiences as an immigrant are yet to be fully explored. Hannibal's work is inspired by Mesopotamian sculptures and reliefs. In his paintings, he vitalizes historical processes within the passing moment, contrasting emotions such as love and hate hope and despair. Human behaviors, both exotic and mundane, are the raw materials for his work. As Marcel Josephson remarks in a selected edition of Hannibal's poetry, his preferred subjects are universal notions such as birth, death, hunger, the historical heritage of humanity, mythology, and above all, war and peace. His unique art form utilizes simplistic objects drawn from nature, often organized in registers, bringing to mind ancient Assyrian reliefs he dedicates to his heritage. Hannibal has also produced some 700 poems in his native language of modern Aramaic, some of which are published in a variety of forms. They also appear embedded within his paintings, uh, not only in his language, but also in Farsi. His poetic style is best demonstrated in a poem entitled Ormi, the name of his ancestral homeland in northwestern Iran. Ormi in the mid-1800s was an important center for the revival of the Assyrian culture and language, of which his father, Adé, and Uncle John were prominent participants. Hannibal tenderly evokes his special bond with his father, calling on the Mesopotamian god Anu to connect them 
divinely in the plains of Urmia, where their spirits can soar together. In this poem, Hannibal lists his accomplishments, showing how he had in fact combined his professional development with an embrace of his culture. Ya babi shukli zamran, ya babi shmili amran, akhbruna babi khabqan, shaqlan min nukh gulpane, ya mabu'ad yulpane, ruhukh uruhi zawigi, aqlan ar'a majwiji, ha wakhtri tayr pracha, min mata al mata archa, akh sayyara mashukha, khazikhla dashtad urmi, mu'umrano shqil shimmukh, bkhano mujurta yimmukh, urmi yimma qayimmi, Ya Urmi, Urmi, Urmi. The story of Assyrians consists of 15 panel painting and is considered one of Hannibal's masterpieces. Hannibal combines poetry with art, evoking another spiritual connection between father and son. Using a poem by his father Adde, Hannibal creates a narrative treatment of the history of Assyrians in Urmia. In the house where I was born, a grapevine of a hundred fingers stretched. Above the door, it reached the cavity in the wall. Its beauty, a tree, I thought never matched. Every summer, when the grapes ripened, my mother loved sitting under its cover. With her scraggly hand, a branch she'd lower, crammed with sweet grapes draped in the air. We beneath, chirping like the birds above, mouths open, begging for any zest. We, from my mother's hand, ate. The bird flew to her chicks in the nest. Winter came, the grapevine dried, Fearful of the cold, the birds flew away. My mother died. Children scattered in the land. When I remember her, a tear swells in my eye. The poem is written in Adai al Khasa's youth. Uh, it's simple in style, yet it's powerfully poignant. It tells the story of the Assyrians in the plains of Urmia in the past 100 years. Um, the theme of winter is, uh, signifies uh, the genocide, the exodus, and the destruction of cultural heritage, which uh, Adde al-Khaz would have experienced and witnessed himself. <laughs>